<laughs> a basket, basketball eye. I think you will be yeah. painting a a basketball with an eye. Yeah, I, I mean that's that was the intention. Yes, of course. That's... Nobody knows what the heck we're talking about. Oh, so. it's got fire on it and lightning and smoke <clears throat> and ice and that's water. Right. Yep. So yeah, it's it's an interesting basketball. This one. Well, I mean the the problem is, I guess <laughs> somebody says like, oh, what? How can you paint yeah. that? Yeah. Is that possible? Would you believe it? We're watching an ad, and it's yeah. unskippable. It's an unskippable ad. How are we watching an unskippable ad? Well, because it doesn't care whether it's me or somebody else. Like, oh, I've got to watch a second ad as well. No. How's that? How's that? That's great. Like, that, yeah. is, that is awesome. Thanks, uh, YouTube. That's, thank you. I do appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, Iron Man. Yeah. That doesn't, he doesn't look healthy. <laughs> he does not look healthy. <laughs> he looks yeah. a little, little yeah. unhealthy. He's yeah. not taking vitamins at all. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's make sure we put your, uh, your channel name in here. Okay. Yeah. Right, there we, we go. need to add more stuff to that channel, actually. Okay, so we'll, if I paste it in here... Mm. Like will, it, that, will, it, will it work this time? Well, it, yes, it, it did. did. Okay, now, no, I can't pin it because there's already a, a poll, so oh. I can't pin it. So I have to post it again at some point. Okay. That's yeah, all right. Post it at the end. Somewhere. All right, well, somewhere. unplug me, baby. Unplug okay. me. Okay. All right. Cool. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll get you to do the intro. <coughs> Remember, I have a I've had a name change recently. Um, so. Gary? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. My name has changed to Gary. No. Yeah. Okay, would you like to start us off? Welcome to How to RPG. Um, I'll get used to saying that eventually. Um, and um, I'm going to be continuing to paint this um, beholder. Um, and I think we'll have it finished today. So, yeah. Come along and join in and um, hope you enjoy. Who are you? Um, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. I'm Dave. I'm Dave. I'm Fred's brother. And um and I'm I'm painting for Fred because he's lazy. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are we talking about today, Mister Mister Gary? Wow. <laughs> oh, Monty Python. Yeah, we we probably will be talking a lot about Monty Python, but I thought since I kind of fluffed up last time because we don't we really didn't talk there that much about your YouTube channel, which is of course having to rebuild after being hacked. Um, mm, yeah. Which was not cool. No. And, and was not fun. It created an awful lot of hassle and uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not easy to recover from something like that. No. Hello Leonard, how are you? How are you doing? So for those of you who haven't got, uh, uh, if you've got miniatures and paints and so forth and you want to do some painting along with David, you go for it. He's going to be doing the detailing today. Mm. Um, he is going to try to focus very hard while I try to distract him constantly. Mm, yeah, thanks. So Leonard is saying hi to you Dave. Hey Leonard, how's it going? Um, so, oh, so just a big, quick, big tip. Even if I do it, I've discovered that David doesn't like being called Dave. I've, I've been, you've called me out a few times on that one. No, you know, Dave's fine. Dave's fine. Oh, now it's all right. That's I, all right. I, I, okay, all right, okay, so I can do that. Okay, yeah. all right, uh, my, Dave, mi David my, is... my mistake, my yep. mistake. Dave's fine. Okay, so this is a, an eyeball monster. Basketball. Uh, zombie basketball uh, miniature painting thing. Mm. And uh, we were deciding, like, what, what would we talk about? Because, it, it, you know, things have been a bit serious recently. Mm. Uh, and uh, so I, I thought, well, Monty Python. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many people have actually watched the TV shows, the Flying Circus, Monty Python, the movies. Um, I'm sure somebody here has watched uh, Faulty Towers that had John Cleese in it. Mm. <clears throat> but do you remember... <clears throat> Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That would be the most, I would have thought, the most memorable um, film that they did. Yeah. And I think ultimately the reason it was so memorable is it was cheap as. It <laughs> looked cheap. <laughs> they used coconuts to represent the fact that they were riding horses, but they weren't actually riding horses. They just pretended to be riding horses. It was like watching five-year-olds um, in a, a big big field or a, on a hill yeah. galloping around right yeah. and then the big threat I mean there were lots of big threats uh, but by far one of my favourite um, parts of that whole movie has got to be in this. if you haven't watched this movie you probably won't understand it's got to be the rabbit that was in the cave <laughs> do you remember that one? no I don't well, apparently, uh, you know, the, the search for the Holy Grail involved um, kind of coming across what is considered like a legendary creature. And the legendary creature... Was a rabbit. Was, wasn't actually a dragon. 
It was a vampiric, carnivorous, um, highly aggressive um, killer rabbit. Yeah, that that's multi-python, all right. That's white. <laughs> <laughs> Is that um, um, Osric the Dwarf? Hello, Osric the Dwarf. How are you doing? <laughs> so... I'm very much aware that uh, as soon as I remove um, a lot of the um, the normal logos or um, branding or uh, artwork that I've used in the past, hardly anybody's going to watch these things anymore. So <clears throat> don't feel like we're not necessarily going to talk about that sort of thing because we, we probably will. But we, yeah, uh, just um, yeah, making a point, uh, making a statement, keeping myself safe, things like that. <laughs> so yeah so i think that was the and i think it, 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 you watched it as it attacked one of the knights i can't remember if it killed anybody <laughs> imagine being killed by a rabbit that would be quite humiliating yeah yeah and, and and they actually showed the uh the fluffy rabbit and it looked like it literally looked like a a soft toy <laughs> yeah. um I don't even I don't even know how they figured out how to get it to to do stuff. I think it's like you know you'd, you'd see it in the scene. Did it even move around? I'm not even sure. <laughs> but they covered it in blood from, from its fangs. Like you could see, you could see you know it it, it it's like it was just the whole front of it was saturated in red blood. <laughs> so that was definitely one of my favourite parts in the in the movie. Yeah, that's a very freed thing. Yeah, well you know, it, well it reminds me years ago. I saw a piece of artwork that had a, uh, a colossal chicken with three heads breathing fire. I know. Where? I have never been able to find it. I, I found it, but I've never been able to refine that image. And every time I think about a, an enormous, you know, three-headed chicken that breathes fire, <laughs> I'm thinking like, you know, if you want to take a monster that was considered... Well, a creature that was considered not very dangerous, yeah, and turn it to something scary. That seems very scary to me. <laughs> yeah, but also very funny. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Colossal chicken. I've, I've saw. I saw on. Um, I was looking at um, that um, place I was telling about the Principal Dragon, but that's a New Zealand-based. Yep. Company, but um, they had a, a space hamster. Space hamster. Did they? I had a space hamster miniature. Are you sure it was a space hamster, or was it was just a, a it miniature of, a, of a, a, a hamster? It was well, it looked like a miniature of a hamster, but it was called a space hamster. Right, but then of course, space hamsters and hamsters are probably very similar. Yeah, it had some stuff with it, like you know, some sort of science fiction stuff that it had in its packs and stuff. But uh, yeah, it was, it was technically wearing, it was a hamster. It was wearing a pack. Yep. A backpack. Yep. Really? Yep. Oh come on! Did it was it standing on two legs? Yep. Oh yeah, of course it was. You have a playable, playable space hamster that you can have as a, with a pack. Yeah, that seems like yeah, that that'd be the, the next way to go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, I was looking at what um is going on with AJ Pickett, and AJ Pickett has decided to go with a, an RPG called Monster Monster, where you can actually play as monster races or monster species. Like a space species. hamster. Or yeah, or a space hamster, I suppose, or something yeah. else, or I don't know, we're going to call it race species. Um. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Something creature like that. type, creature yeah, type. yeah, playable creature type. Um, so yeah, and so he's uh, he's doubling down on that. He's going to make a whole lot of law for it, and it'll be open source, so it won't be it won't have uh, copyright attached to it. And he's just going to create a whole lot of stuff. And I thought, oh, that's cool. I, I like that idea. Hmm. So there's another scene in that movie, and it has the Black Knight. Yes, yep. You remember with this one, don't you? The Black Knight, isn't, isn't he the one who like, basically keeps on fighting when he's got no arms and legs left or anything? That's right. Yep. 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 Yeah, he just continues to he fight. He just continues to fight. I mean, talk about commitment to the to the cause. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I love the fact that uh, you face an enemy who doesn't seem to be very good <laughs> at what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. and, I mean, the fight is really fast yeah, yeah. in that scene. Yeah. And he loses an arm. And will not give up, and his blood's just spurting out everywhere. Yeah. And he loses another arm, and still refuses to give up, even though he's given a chance. You know, you know we, I, I won't, don't want to kill you, but you know, you've lost an arm. Yeah, yeah. Gets medical attention. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to continue fighting. 
loses a leg, still hopping around. He can't even. He's trying to headbutt him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, King Arthur or whatever the heck it is, and uh, and then eventually winds up with no arms, no legs, still abusing and still, yeah, just still feisty. Feisty, yeah, trying to fight with bad words. But it, it, I mean, he hasn't even figured out that he could roll after them if he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I thought that was pretty funny. Hello, Brian. How are you doing? How's it going? Um. So what are you doing with the eyes today? Lightning. Like, are you are you doing lightning on the eyes? Yeah, lightning, lightning on the pupils. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What colours do you think you're going to be using for the eyes? Uh, it's off white. You're using an off white. This is the this is Vallejo or the Army Painter. Vallejo. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mainly the only um, Army Painter I have is the washes. I don't actually have any Army Painter paint. Don't you? No. I do. But you don't need them because you've got all the colours you need. Yeah, I get everything. Right. I got a library. You get a library. Yeah. A paint library. Yeah, if you've seen um, David's room, it's like full of paints, painting stuff. It is. And yeah, I have to buy all that all over again. Oh, I don't think it'll be too too difficult. No, it won't be. Most of it came from China. <laughs> so they'll be shipping it from China to the UK. I don't know if that's going if the, uh, is that is that going to be better or not. I don't know. I don't know. Has anyone used AliExpress over in the UK? I don't know. Uh, I don't. I have no idea. I don't have no idea what AliExpress is like in the UK. Yeah, it's good here. Fast shipping and and free, but generally free shipping a lot of times. And we're a long way away from everything, right? So that yeah, yeah. including yeah, China. We're still fourteen hours away. Yep. From China, so yeah. I, you know, one of the things I always thought was interesting is that uh, a lot of the, particularly when you're dealing with John Cleese and Monty Python. Mm is a lot of his humour seems to revolve around uh, pe- misunderstandings yep. or um, just rage. You know, there's, it's funny just because somebody gets so angry. What was the, um, the one I remember from the TV? I'm pretty sure it's the TV show, I think. But do you remember The Lark? The Lark? The, la- the Lark. And it just came up randomly and, and it just had no purpose to be in the show at all. Mm-hmm. It was just a type of tree. Okay. And they just cut to it, and they just said, and a guy just said, the lark. And then, the lark. Okay. And then it went back to the show. Oh, okay. No, I don't remember that. It's like, it drove me nuts. I loved it, though. <laughs> <laughs> they did random things like that, you know, like just really... Um, yeah, it was, it, it almost, in many respects, it didn't even necessarily, wasn't designed to be funny. It was just um, odd. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 British humour, eh? Is it sort of deadpan? Yeah, you you try to do it in such a way as you're 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 quite serious, and uh, and then you get angry if people don't understand what you're trying to do. But yeah. actually, what you're doing is utterly stupid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the. I think that's you know. It's not slapstick. American no. humour tends to be very slapstick. I've I've discovered. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a, yeah, I, th- well, I think there is a little bit of slapstick in British humour, but not not quite as much. Mm. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what are we uh, doing with the, uh, the the body? Is it going to stay green, or is it uh, is it um, morphing into new? Is it, are you going more colours than that, or is it just eyes and focusing on detail today? Focusing on detail. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be green. Okay. Because he's dead. Sort of. Well, very. He's undead. So he is dead. He's dead. But he's still moving. Yeah. Right. Yep. Full of gas. Full of gas. Well, he's full of something because he's a, he's a basketball. Mm-hmm. With an with, eye. With an eye. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a basketball <laughs> with an eye. Yeah. That's uh, developed um, acne. Yeah. Uh, and an eyeball and a mouth. And figured out ways to stop itself from getting in through the hoop by growing tentacles with other eyes on it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Just to make things more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> What are you going to do with that red blast? I see the red blast there. You, you've got. Oh, I'll do. I'll, uh, same with the lightnings. I'll, I'll um, add some stuff to them. Okay. All right. Because that's just yeah, not not very good. It's just the base color. Mm-hmm. I've just um, left those for last. <laughs> for some reason. So I've had to sort of think very hard about the uh, the potential things that I can use, in terms of uh, artwork on my channel. <laughs> As you know. So uh, my first expressions of uh, what I could do uh, recently, I've um, I've opted for the idea of doing like the the cartoon thing where you have uh, two two things, two creatures, uh, and you have like two, a couple of th- um, speech bubbles, 
<laughs> I finally found the speech bubble in, uh, in Paint. Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, oh, oh, there is a speech bubble. I don't have to worry about that. I can actually use it. <laughs> yeah. So I tried out <clears throat> yesterday after a, a long chat with somebody. Um, like, can you build an RPG like D&D? And then I put like a little speech bubble beside it and said, maybe. <laughs> maybe. And I had a very long discussion with somebody about that topic. It actually wound up going in all sorts of directions, Mm -hmm. although it did sort of have a a kind of a focus or a a topic uh, to it. It did. It was two hours of us going in all sorts of directions and me trying to drive it back to how do you make an RPG without getting sued, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) So if you haven't watched that one, um, I, I basically deliberately tried to figure out a way that I could... Put a video up that explained to people how they can make an RPG that's very similar to Dungeons and Dragons without going to court. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a naughty person. <laughs> I do stir the pot. Um, is it wise to do? Probably not. <laughs> Could it hurt me? Probably. <laughs> um, do you care? Uh, really well, really? yeah. I don't know. I, I think I've got everything backed up at this present time. Yeah. So I, I think I'm, although I think my biggest problem would be um, dissecting everything, because I have 1,600 live streams and videos on my channel. That's right. Good luck with that. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're you, welcome. Can, <laughs> could you imagine, could you imagine, it would be um, it would be tough if I suddenly had to make them all private or delete them all and start all over again. Yep. Um, if I even had to make them private and go through them one by one and take out everything that I wasn't allowed to mention, <laughs> it would take a long time. Yes. I would probably go insane. Yeah. I don't think there would be enough time in my um, limited uh, um, free time, which there isn't any, yeah. to actually do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Unless, of course, I did it in my holidays, which wouldn't be that much fun, if you ask me. No. Mm. So I was thinking tomorrow... What are we painting tomorrow? Because I've got to come. I've got to come up with a decent thumbnail that represents. And I'm. I'm thinking. Snowman. Well, maybe I can get. Well, isn't there Frozen got a that little snowman in it? Olaf. Olaf. Yeah. So yeah. if I find a picture of Olaf that's like a PNG. If he likes warm hugs. Oh well, yeah, and I'll put him beside Mr. Bean. Okay. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds good. I think that's a good idea. Yep. So I have to be very creative now. I have to try and find uh, images. They're in 4K. Do you know how difficult that is? Then transpose. Yes, I do, actually. Oh, man. It's so hard. And then transpose something over the top of that. So it's modified. So it's uh, it, it sort of falls under fair use. So I was thinking, well, maybe I should just put some of the memes that I've created um, as the thumbnail. And, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I'll just I'll put the, the, the meme up. That, that'll, be, that'll be enough. <laughs> yeah. Since I, um, I, I can't drive the channel on, uh, on the... Uh, on the brand um, uh, Demons and Devils. Um. <laughs> Duncan and Donuts. Duncan and... Oh, dude, you should have told me that sooner. Let me add that to the list. Yeah, yeah. I'll add that to the list. Duncan's and Donuts. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> How do Duncan's and Donuts... Should I even need to change the name again? i add that to my list. I already got quite a good list. People really did help a lot going over the process of like, what could you change your name to? I think that's Dunkin's and Donuts is excellent. Yep, the Dunkin's and Donuts, yeah. Yeah. They, they'll definitely love that one in the States. I mean, of course, I wouldn't actually be dealing with Dunkin's and Donuts, so it would be confusing for people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, unless you use um, thumbnails of donuts for your monster, That have eyeballs? Yeah, yeah. yeah that are like eating people? Yeah, you can just use a donut for every different type of monster and just yep. How? get creative with it. Yeah. How to Dunkin's and Donuts. Well, why not de- be dealing with another IP, though? Wouldn't Dunkin's and Donuts is an co- actual company? Wouldn't they get it? Dunkin' Donuts is, yeah. Oh, so Dunkin's... Dunkin' Donuts is an IP, but... Um, How to, what is it? Dunkin's and Donuts. Dunkin's? Yep. Uh, so that's D-U-N-K-I-N? Dunkin's? Dunkin's, S- yeah, yeah. Dunkin's? Yep. And... Donuts. Donuts. Yep. Donuts. do do I, I, dude, I don't even remember how to spell donut. I don't know how to spell donut. Uh, I don't eat donuts, so I don't really... Well, I can't eat donuts anymore. I wish I could. Yeah. I like I'm, donuts. I'm glad that I can't. <laughs> well, you mean because of the extra weight that you'd have to carry around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, it, it becomes more and more of an issue as time goes by. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so there's uh, another scene in um, the Holy Grail, uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail, mm. and uh, they come to a castle, like a, a big tower. Yeah. And like how they're supposed to actually get into the tower, it, it, like it's beyond me. Like how are they supposed to, there's, there's five or six of them. That's it. Yeah. They've all got armor and weapons. I don't think any of them have got a bow. Um, they don't have got a battering ram. <laughs> they've got some coconuts because that's how they got there. Because they've been right. Oh, right. I think I remember that. They're going to try and get through the gate, <laughs> eh? Hey? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and they, they just and what shoot bows and arrows at it or something. No, or? no. There's, a, there's, a, there's there's one guard at the top of the tower. Yeah, yeah. Yelling down insults. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and giving them a hard time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know. I feel like that's very appropriate. I feel like it makes me want to watch that movie again, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that scene's great. Well, what it, what it, I think that scene, what it, it drove ho- home to me, So, which is why I took that scene and turned it to a meme at some point. I don't know, yeah. where, I don't know where it is now, but it's, it'll be somewhere amongst my videos. Yeah. Um, the fact that... Well, Dunkins and Donuts, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It, Dunkins and Donuts. Donuts. Okay, so I spelt it incorrectly. Okay, that's not a surprise because I'm not very good at spelling. How's it going, Mum? Um, art teacher online, that's Mum. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Seems to be the only one that's um, chatting today. Uh, I think it, I think everybody else is painting or doing other things. Painting's fun. Yeah, it is. Um, it's, it, I think it's actually more fun when I watch you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But trying to actually get into a fortified tower or a castle. With a coconut. With a coconut. A sword and some armor has got to be asking an awful lot. Yep. I like what you're doing there with the lightning, dude. Oh, thanks. Mm. Um, so I'll, I'll try not to distract you since that's going to be quite difficult to do, I imagine. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. Not too bad. But it does give a good effect. I also like the fact that you're painting your thumb at the same time. Oh, do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to stay that color? Uh, no, it's going to stay whatever colors I use. And right, okay. Uh, Goes cool. all the it's gonna be rainbows. Rainbow coloured thumb. Uh, yeah, it's my, it's my secondary palette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we went and saw um, Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. We won't tell you anything about it, but uh, I will say, um, I, I was slow to warm up to the movie, mm-hmm. and as soon as the little green critter showed up, mm-hmm. uh, I was sold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all I will say. That was quite far through the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the viewers have, have said, hello, how's it going, Taryn, Indostructoy boy? Um, I'm not sure. How did, how did that work? Have you, are you, Taryn must be eating. I suspect that Taryn's eating and having to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That might be what's going on here. Yeah. Don't, don't, um, don't interfere with your guitar lessons or anything like that. Or, um, or any kind of food consumption, Taryn. Guitar lessons? Well, I, well, he teaches music. Oh, nice. Yeah. And he also runs a YouTube channel, uh, and he's been designing an RPG. You know how I <laughs> you know how I was like uh, suggesting that maybe I'd tell a whole lot of different creators they should all make their own RPG that's very similar to Dungeons & Dragons? A whole bunch of creators decided yeah. to start and design their own RPGs that are similar? Well, uh, I mean, Taryn had already started doing that. Uh. And then uh, when I was talking to um, Chris over at um, in, uh, Deus um, Ex Machina, he said, oh, I should give that a go. And I'd been talking about doing it for years. Uh, but I was like, oh, I'll wait until 2024. Not going to wait until that, um, that long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that would be like fun if we would just... Hmm. Can, how many creators can we get to make a RPG system so we just flood the market with different RPG systems? And uh, and I suggested like it could be as, as simple as like one page so you could get it out there quick. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it out there quick and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we should give this particular, um, beh- beh- can I say behold? Yeah, they can't say beholder Biscolder. anymore. Biscolder. Uh, the Biscolder? Yeah. Or Boulder? Yeah. Or call it a Boulder zombie? Or is it a zombie Boulder? A Biscolder zombie. Okay. Yeah. Do we give it a name? Somebody in chat. There's plenty of people here. I know there's people here. For those of you who aren't subscribed to me, uh, I will wait the 20 minutes. <laughs> I will just say nothing. And, and I'll give you 20 minutes so that you can actually, because it's a subscriber only, you comment in the, in oh, the chat. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, because otherwise I get um, I get plagued by sex bots. Oh, nice. Uh, they okay. just spam me. 
and um, they show no mercy too. Mm. So, so uh, there's, there's a reason, like a lot of us who are live streaming, have to actually set it to subscribers only. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Dragon Pop, how's it going? M MCDM uses I Tyrant. Yes. Oh, yeah, pardon. Yeah, there, there, there's another name for it. I Tyrant. Now, I -tyrant. is I Tyrant actually copyright? Because I know. I know um, the um, the brand that shall not be named, Demons and Devils. Um, <laughs> well, is it um, a death tyrant? A, yeah, but, it's but death, not an eye tyrant. An eye tyrant? Maybe that's that's how that works. I mean, it could. Yeah. I'd be I'd be interested to know. I'll, we'll try we'll try the the. How about we just call it the eye zombie? We we'll just call it the big eye zombie. I think that's yeah. We could try the eye biscotti, tyrant zombie. The biscotti holder. In the biscotti holder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there. I need water. <clears throat> so we're in a very small office. We are, actually, David's, David's got a shirt off. I should do the same. <laughs> yeah, with a fan on and... A uh, fan going, yeah. That's the noise that you can hear, people. That funny noise. That's uh, that's not my computer. My computer is actually reasonably powerful. And uh, quiet. And quiet. Uh, it's liquid cooled with three fans. Mm. I spent the most amount of money I could possibly find... Since I knew I'd be live streaming, no, I didn't actually know I was going to be live streaming in 4K, baby. Um, yeah. But I am. Um, I only just discovered, like, oh, okay, <clears throat> can you actually live stream with this machine in 4K? Apparently, you can. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Oh well, I guess I'm not going back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, one of the biggest problems I always had was um, was sound. Ah, okay. And and for those of you who are wondering what's going on with the sound, because the office is so small, and although I have tried to cover the walls with all sorts of things to deal with the sound bouncing, um, this the the sounds going in from two sides of this um, Yeti microphone, mm -hmm. and D David can't actually speak into the microphone. I'm trying to speak into the microphone. He's got to concentrate, so he's actually looking at my uh, at the miniature in the desk. Mm -hmm. So it changes everything. Changes mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, I broke the rules. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's necessary. Otherwise, it's never going to get done, right? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, so an, an ocular. Yeah. Oh, well, let's call it the the ocular zombie. I like that. Oculars. Yeah, yeah. Drag, uh, dragon pulp. You've you've got me. <clears throat> if I ever have to refer to it again, it'll be the ocular um, zombie. Yeah. Do that. <clears throat> and could be called yeah. Shoots ocular rays from its eyes. Well, this one does. Lightning. What's the red one? Do you think? That maybe fire. A laser. A laser. That's probably the disintegration rate, right? Mm. <clears throat> and then the the purpley white thing that you've got coming off there, that's probably some sort of... Plasma. Magic. Pl magic. Uh, uh, sucked the life out of you sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you need like a ray thing coming off it to represent scaring you. No. Because it does stuff like that, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah. So, <clears throat> going back to Monty Python, if I was to take this particular creature... And include it in a low budget uh, movie, <laughs> yeah. and then plaster Monty Python all over it. Mm -hmm. I would get myself sued. <clears throat> probably, probably get sued. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would be the first thing. Yeah. Um, I'd get myself one of those over large beach balls. Yeah, and then I would attach <clears throat> a whole lot of, um, um, you know, that um, that ticker tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's right. Sort of blows in the wind a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And and then I would I would just like paint like a a, a big eyeball on it with um with a bit of um craft paint and we're all ready to go. Do you know what I mean? That's uh that's what I would like to do. <laughs> hi Tony. Um hi guys, nice painting and chat stream, Fred. Uh, don't let wizards uh, get you down. Uh, um the problem is <laughs> the problem is as David can contest to is um. Uh, I might have got down. Keep up the, the great work. Well, I will keep up the great work. It might look a little bit differently. Thanks for the honesty and uh, the thoughtful content. Now, people uh, need to realise too that Taron, um, if there's anybody here who doesn't know, Taron Indestructor Boy was the first one to release the leak on the OGL. But I won't go into that too much. Um, <clears throat> no, no. The, the problem is when I get angry, I also get... Was it naughty? I, I do things, don't I? To stir the pot. His skin's smurfs. Well, that was a long time ago. But that's what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so I would take this monster and that I would just use a beach ball and paint an eyeball on it and put some tick, stick some some uh, I don't know, some confetti or some ticker tape on it and something like that. And then uh, I just stick it on a stick and it mm -hmm. have it just moving around. That's flying. 
Yeah. And literally just have somebody standing behind, um, holding the stick, standing behind the beach ball. So you, you, all you'd see is their body and not their head. <laughs> yeah. Ma- making monster noises and, and uh, acting paranoid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, so we could probably, we could probably right now, we could probably get uh, plenty of YouTubers who deal in um, RPGs uh, that use uh, an open game license or um, Dungeons and Devils, and um, they would make a, a very good paranoid um, um, ocular zombie, wouldn't they not? We'd get them to play that part. Oh, I, watched, I could um, do that. I watched, <laughs> Ghost, I watched the Ghostbusters movie last night. Oh, are you talking about the afterlife? The afterlife one. Yeah. And what did you think? It's great. It's great. Don't tell us any thing about it. Cause I don't know if everybody's seen that thing. I've seen that movie too. The um, I feel it was more horror rather than just trying to be funny, and, yeah, yeah. and that's what made the difference. Hey, eh? it had funny moments in it. Yeah, it did. It did, uh, and they 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 made sense to have them there. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, I I felt like uh, it's like Terminator, trying to turn it into just a, a full blown oh let's make some funny jokes and have some action. It needs to be horror. I think that's what already made the first um, Terminator rock mm. for me. Yep. I know a lot of people like the second one, but for me, the I guess, and I think even Cameron likes the second one a bit more, but I actually think the first one's probably the best one out of them. Mm. It, it had the lowest budget. It did. Um, and it was it was just terrifying. I remember feeling at the end of it exhausted watching yeah. that movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, all right, I just yeah, need she it. survived it. Ah, oh, she survived. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's finally gone. Yeah. And like, oh, all right, now now I need to go and watch some um, Disney um, cartoons. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> or some Monty Python. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get into a castle with a, a coconut. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it won't work very well. No. Because <laughs> oh, have there been any more, any more releases on um, trailers for the um, Voldemort movie? What the Voldemort? The 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 Voldemort. No, you, you mean the D&D movie. The, the Demons and Devils Demons movie. And Devils the movie. Demons and Devils movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. No, I don't think they have. I think it's not that far off. Okay. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see if anybody shows up now. Uh, which That's is a, sh- a bit of a worry. It's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have to replace. It. They need to do another rerun of um, Monty Python's Holy Grail. <clears throat> and just add in a um, a beach ball with an eyeball um, yeah, painted yeah. on it, and we're yeah. all good. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going, Nacho? Nacho, man, how are you doing? N- uh, Nacho is a patron, and um, yeah, yeah. I suppose. I mean, look, I'm 51. David's in his 40s, uh, but frankly, the mentality going on right now between the two of us is definitely of boys. Yeah, it's not really of grown men who are sensible or anything no. like that. No, it's. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not going to happen today. Yeah. Uh, I think you might need me to move a little bit further forward, if, if that's even possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope that your um, elbows aren't drying out because of all of this um, leaning on the desk, dude. Um, I don't know. All right, let's. I hope it's not. That'd be I put, terrible. I put some stuff on it though to make it stop cracking. Okay, some moisturizer. <laughs> yes. You had to moisturize your um. Yeah, elbows. So for those of you who don't know, um, my my camera can only extend so far, and so it's actually the 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 painting area is mounted so close or so far away from David <laughs> that he has to really lean annoying. lean yeah. forward quite a lot. Uh, yeah. We tried to fix it. Um, I've discovered that apparently I can't. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Princess Fairy? How are you doing? I saw that you joined up um, on um, Taran or Indestructible Boys channel, which I'm glad to see. Uh, so I'm sh- Taran's going to be doing a whole lot of um, RP design stuff. Um, so is Chris from um, DS Ex Machina. Uh, I believe there's a couple of other people's. I'm going to be doing it. Instead of waiting to 2024, I will just do it as a live stream. I'll just pick one of my days off and I'll start. Uh, early and uh, I will uh, work my way from there and we'll see what we get out um get at the end um and I'll uh, I, I've got a there's a helpful video I found on YouTube that explains how to do it so um yeah surprisingly I think I might have made it as well <laughs> yes. uh, uh, dear. okay hello Jasper it's been a while Jasper Pearl how you doing nice to have you here so for those of you who are wondering what's going to be happening with uh, any kind of thumbnail you see on my channel, it's probably going to be taking the piss out of something, okay? Mm-hmm. It's probably going to look very, very strange. A uh, combination. It, consider it like, um, I would actually view it like the combination of stuff they used to do with Monty Python. 
there will always be a factor to it that is pr trying to have a uh, a funny or a tickle bone moment. Uh, whether you find it funny or not, I have no idea. I'm sure I'm, at some point I will eventually strike gold, and then of course the rest of the time it won't work. Because I am, I am 51. Apparently, people aren't very funny when they're 51, and I've always struggled. I've been trying all my life to, to try to actually improve on that. I think it was a point where I was actually pretty good at it. Yeah. I think Mum considered that sarcasm the lowest form of, um, of humour. Apparently. Uh, that's okay. She's sarcastic too, though. Yeah, but I, I mean, I agree. I do agree. Sarcasm, and since I'm so good at at sarcasm, that usually it's. I mean, sarcasm is designed to hurt somebody, really, rather than to actually be funny. Ah, lowest form of what then? Yeah, that's the lowest form of wit. That's the one. And also dry humour. Like, oh, do you know dry humour? Yeah, that, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I mean, like, it's so dry that it's it's brittle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, if you haven't figured it out, David's um, expression on his face when I started saying that, he was, he was not impressed. No, I yeah. don't like dry humour. Yeah, which is, basically means he doesn't like any of my humour. Yeah. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't like a lot of people's, really. <laughs> I, I am, I'm a corny, like I probably prefer the slapstick style, American style humour, really. Yeah, you, 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 you actually find things humorous, just, it's more, you, your, your idea of humour is just to annoy somebody until they crack. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's like a, a different level of sarcasm, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you show no mercy, too. No. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Mum. Better than wet humour, yeah, we, 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 uh, that's right. No, we don't want wet humour. Dry humour is probably better than wet humour, I agree. I don't even know what wet humour is. The opposite of dry humour? Well, so, yeah. No, no, does anybody understand that? I don't get it. I'm, I'm lost. Wet humour, um, I don't know, we've got cyclones at the moment with rain, so that's, that's a bit wet. Oh, that's right. I looked outside, it looked like it might be fine enough for me to go to the beach, but I don't know. Good because like, there's another cyclone coming. There's a second one? Yep. Uh, there's no third one coming, right? Because am I going to get... Um, uh, someone... They haven't announced it, but I'm sure there'll be a third one. Ah, uh, man, my holiday, and it's going to wind up with cyclones the whole time. Yep, it's going to be hot and wet. Hot and wet. And just really gross the whole time. The whole, yeah. Oh, man, that's not good. That's not good. Um, so I'm currently trying to read, uh, what is it? Um, the Creature Codex Lair book, which is uh, uh, an adventure book full of short adventures. I like short adventures, so I've been reading that. And um, I don't know how what how to feel about a, um, books that rely on other books to be able to use them, particularly when they rely on so many different books. It's not like they'd rely on one or two books, like the game system and the, uh, the monster book, but they rely on multiple monster books to run. That's... You know that that in itself just is just very frustrating, particularly when they don't provide the monster stat block in the actual adventure book. If you've got to go and buy multiple monster books, not just one, to run the adventure um, booklet. <sighs> Cobalt Press, uh, I noticed you've been doing that a lot. Um, I like your stuff, but you got to stop doing that. It's annoying me. What stuff's that? Uh, well, just having multiple books required to, to oh, actually. Oh, they make the books. Yeah, right, they right, make right. the books as well. Okay. And clearly they will sell more of them, but I mean, I've, I've bought almost all of their monster books. I've got the uh, Tome of Beasts, I've got uh, Creature Codex, I've got the Tome of Beasts 2, which I didn't actually like that much. Um, I haven't got um, Tome of Beasts 3 because I'm in New Zealand, and jumping onto a Kickstarter and having it sent to me is totally impractical. It, it would be just horrifically expensive. I'm in New Zealand. Um, shipping here is like four or five times what anybody else might have to pay. Have you ever jumped onto a Kickstarter? I did. Did you win? Many years ago, the 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 guy who designed it as it, uh, Rodney Thompson, um, was trying to design a generic game system. Yeah. And it was based off um, Star Wars Saga, that that role playing system, oh, and, yeah. which I, I really enjoyed and I liked. And um, he he never got it made. I, I put fifty dollars into it, and, which is why. When anybody sends me via email or starts talking about Kickstarters and promoting them on the channel, I just don't want to know about it. And it's why I've never, I, I never um, support Kickstarters anymore. Because um, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, you have to go for big channels, the ones that will actually get the funding. 
Yeah. Because they need to have a lot of subscribers for people to actually get enough people in to fund it to make it actually happen. Yeah. It, yeah. And I always find that people, you know, want want really just they just want free advertising on what they think consider to be somebody who won't actually charge them any money. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, no, go away. I'm not interested. Go go see Google Ad- AdSense, um, and uh, and get your advertising sorted out that way. Frankly, yeah. um, well, that's that's just me. That doesn't mean I don't think that people, you know, Kickstarter isn't a good thing at all. I just you know, been burned, and uh, yeah, too many people approach this channel uh, and probably other channels looking for free advertising. Mm. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of thinking in terms of because after that I've got to make up some more thumbnails. Yes. Snowman. So <clears throat> for those of you who know that I have a Discord, oh, I should probably share your YouTube channel again, shouldn't I? I should I should plonk it in there. How's it going overboard? Uh, did I see this right? Uh, Cobalt Press came out with a new game system. Yes, they did. Yes, you're right, Overboard, but that's not the only, um, <laughs> I can assure you there won't be just Cobalt Press that comes out with a new game system. In all likelihood, you'll probably see that um, Paizo comes out with a new game system that removes themselves from the open game license as well. Um, I can assure you that um, uh, Indostructo Boy, is, uh, he's working on one. He's got a YouTube channel and is a third, third party content creator. All of the... Any, any of the game systems that have open game license stuff in it, everybody's going to be looking at their, co- on their stuff and removing that from the game and making it uh, completely, um, uh, un- you know, their own thing, their own IP, basically. Or they'll be making it open source so they don't have to worry about somebody trying to take them to court or stop them from using it. Do you think that um, there'll be an open license um, for a magical unicorn horn um, launching... Um Crossbow? Oh, you, are you suggesting that a, a magical horn launch... Magic, magical unicorn horn launching crossbow. We can make a magic item like that. Yeah. I've uh, just got to make sure that we don't have anything that's related to another game system. Or a movie. Or, okay, you're very subtle there. Nice, nice, good. No, don't... We're not going into any detail on that. Stop smiling at me. <laughs> uh, what do you got here, Nacho? Um, got a Nolz's Marvelous Hill Giant. Yeah, I thought it was the um, the Hill Giant you were talking about to, uh, with me um, on Discord. My wife is going to paint it because I have fat fingers. Yeah, yeah. It, it, old age, fat fingers are part of the problem, but a steady hand is absolutely required for painting <laughs> and good eyes. My yeah. brother is currently wearing his um, his glasses for painting. Yeah, i got 42-year-old eyes. And he's also, I know he's got like a, um, uh, is it, what is it, like a covert SEAL team or special forces set up for really getting up close as well, when he absolutely has to get, yeah. He kind of looks like he's he's got attached to his head some sort of cybernetic, you know, they're not going to be able to see it like that, dude. You'd have to actually take it off and stick it into this. Into you, the, have to, you have to, I can't, because like, I can't even see it. No, 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 it's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it was actually worth time bringing it, because I can't get close enough to the miniature. So, yeah, but but, but anyway, we could show it to you, but it's terrifying, yeah. um, that contraption. Um, it, it does work really well when it, it needs to. It does work well, though. Yeah, yeah. Not when you're lot. painting 25 from 28 millimeter Not so. eyes, mm-hmm. it's perfect for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, dear. What's this? What's this, what's this, Joe? Uh, so, by the way, Joe is a patron and also a uh, moderator, and he also has a YouTube channel that does uh, miniatures and terrain and other reviews. You just got here. How many times have you um, talked about Space Marines? Not that, not ma- no, we haven't. We've been talking mostly about Monty Python and kind of silly stuff. We've, we've gone in you know various directions. Um, um, I'm, 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 I've got a, there's a clause that Fred's given me a contract that I'm not allowed to talk about too much about Space Marines. Would you like to tell him more about that contract? Yeah, the contract is not real, but um, I just made it up. <laughs> I kind of really know what else to say about it. <laughs> I'm still working out the, uh, the details of it. Uh, all right, so I've just put in his um, his channel 
uh, YouTube channel if, if you're wonder, wondering what uh, Dave does on his channel. Um, it is um, having to be rebuilt. It, it do, kind of got killed by a hacker. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you who um, uh, love uh, Instagram, apparently Instagram once you they, they hack through Instagram, they can they can get access to absolutely every other social media that's linked to Instagram. Yep. Therefore, destroying all of your social media accounts. Which, which, Doesn't matter if you have different account um, different account names or anything like that. It's just it's gone. It's gone. Uh, yeah. Not cool. Not cool. No. Although, it'll be interesting to see. Do you know what do you do? You think that when we were doing the um, the recordings of uh, your your miniatures, uh, the shorts for them, hmm. do you think it was better to have the white background or the fancy looking backgrounds that we used with the TV? Uh, I guess you could get a do a poll on that. <laughs> do a poll on that. I like fancy backgrounds, but. Uh... It, I, I was looking at them and I was thinking that it, it almost as if, if the miniature gets lost in the background. Mm, it's, it's part of the environment. Yeah, and so it's, it doesn't quite stand out quite as much as it probably needs to. Mm. Yeah, that, that, I think that was the only thing I was thinking about it when I was looking at them. I was like, maybe that wasn't such a great idea, but um, who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> ah, right. I wonder if I'll be going to the beach today. Well... It's actually sunny right now. Well, it's it is getting warmer in here too, so that's a good sign. Um, not not for in here, it's not. No, it's not. But if, if you want to go to the beach, it's a great sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So so my plan was actually to review in the future after my holiday, um, Creature Codex Lairs and the Tome of Beasts too. I know it's a very old book, but <clears throat> I haven't actually done it. Apparently, I didn't realise. I didn't actually cover it. And I was actually going to talk about some other books released by Demons and Devils. Um, mm. <laughs> but I'm I'm kind of like I'm on the fence now about whether I want to do that or not. Mm -hmm. Now you know I'm 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 thinking Dark Heresy is looking much more promising. I like Dark Heresy, but I'm biased towards Space Marines. I was actually thinking maybe I could I, I would do something on um, Marvel superheroes. Yep, that would be cool. I, I do actually have that book here, and you can get miniatures for it too. Yep. Um, I was I'm still very I'm I'm, I'm still probably no matter what, going to do Star Wars Saga, mm -hmm. even even though it's made by Wizards of the Coast. But it's not made anymore by them, so they, they can't do anything about whatever I do with it. Nice. So I can just do whatever the heck I like, as far as I understand. Cool. Uh, because I don't actually, you know, the, the license for it is gone. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Disney IP, as far as um, I understand. And oh, since wow. it's not a published um, system anymore, it went out of print, I can do, I can do as I see fit. As I see fit. Fred always goes to the beach in the winter. It's not winter here. It's summer. It's summer here. It won't, might, just because but for some reason we've been getting cyclones and really cold wet weather. <clears throat> uh, and then extremely um, humid tropical weather. Um, yeah, the weather's just really weird. And what's, what's the colour you're putting on the base there, man? Oh, I'm just mixing colours. Blues, mixing? different blues, different blues. blues. Okay. Um, uh, uh, oh, just blue. Just blue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then electric blue. And and electric, electric blue. blue. Okay, okay. Uh, so, yeah, the our, our winter actually wound up feeling more like a summer. So yeah. it's like the, the entire, all the seasons just got completely turned upside down. Yeah. But not completely, so, because um, the, the, the overall temperature in New Zealand is so much hotter than it was before. I'm, oh. I'm leaving. It's time to go to the South Island. I'm going to England. Well, it'll be a lot colder there. <laughs> I've got a jacket. Are we allowed to talk about older Ed editions of the system we cannot speak of? Yeah, of course we can. Um, I was. Um, I think it's just called Voldemort now. We're calling it Voldemort. Um, yeah, yeah, we can, and I probably will. Um, I hate to say it, but no matter what happens going forward, I am probably going to take the and uh, the bigger old um, piss out of um, um, one Demons and Devils, mm -hmm. the game system to um, rule them all. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, and I and and I, I probably won't make a, a specific video about it because that that just, just doesn't seem like I, I want to do that anymore. Um, but I was actually looking at um, old school essentials, and uh, I was looking at some of my older um, demons and devils books. 
<laughs> oh, Voldemort yeah, books. Voldemort yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, people. Uh, uh, yeah. it's, it's Dunkin's and Donuts. Yeah, that, Dunkin's that, that, and Donuts. That's Dunkin's the and Donuts. That's the that's the brand name. Okay. People are probably so confused at the heck. What the heck are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so confusing. Yeah. Um, hello, how are you? Not all who wander are lost. Da da da. Hello, how are you there? Uh, yes, we can talk about older read editions, the uh, Demons and Devils. Um, do, do you know? <clears throat> People are are calling it um, Dun and D. Dun and D. Dun and D. Dun and D. Like um, Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Dun, Dundee. Dundee. Okay, how to Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. How to Dundee Beach. Yeah. Um, I, actually ha- I actually have land in Dundee you Beach. Do? I do. Uh, in Australia. Yeah. Which, um, I which is even hotter than here. Which it is. And I- I've never actually seen the place. Because it's hotter than here. Yeah. So why would you? Well, I just I don't, haven't had time. And, uh, you don't like flying on planes. Uh, that's true. I don't like flying on planes. Um, I'm not fond of green ants. And I don't think green ants are fond of anybody else, actually, if you ask me. They spit mm. acid. Those little suckers are nasty. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're very similar to fire ants. So. so you're highlighting this with what, mate? Um, I don't know. I just sort of mixed a whole bunch of colours together. <laughs> and I'm going to do it again. Okay, dump and die. Okay. <laughs> Blues and greens and, yeah. and now pebbles. Yeah, we, we, can definitely, we can definitely do... Um, <laughs> we can definitely talk about some older versions of Dumb and Dumber. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Mate... Uh, do did we Man, have? There's it? really quite a lot you can do to take the piss out of it. Eh? I know. I didn't. I didn't realize just how much there was. Um, I feel like I might have missed something along the way. Did I have actually um, Dumb and Dumber here? I, <laughs> I feel like Mum Mum might have pointed that in the direction. How to Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. Yep. How to Dumb and Dumber? I'll add that to my list, Joe. Thank you for that. Um, I did. I must. Last time we talked about this, I must have missed it. How to. Dumb and dumber. Um, also, how to paint um, hands. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And your thumb. And your thumb. Fortunately, it's not the other finger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh like the thumb from last night. Oh, that shall that's not be right. named Because yeah, yeah. we're not talking about it. No, no, no be cool. People won't have seen it yet. Yeah, well, yeah. We're not going to spoil for them. Yeah. It's a new movie. That's good. Um, fine, thanks. How's uh, everyone else? Well, I'm hoping everybody else is doing um, doing pretty well. We we decided. I was sitting down with my brother, and I was like, we, "We've got to we've got to try to go with a more humorous or um, light hearted light hearted approach today." Yeah. Um, Dungeons and Donuts. Dungeons and Donuts. Dungeons and donuts. Oh, I'm adding that. Donuts and Dungeons. Oh, no, I, I, f- I feel like Dungeons and Donuts works well. Mum's uh, on a on a on a. Um, do you, the funny thing is that the the name change to my channel is a result of mum uh, suggesting. Just the weight of less than twenty minutes. I've mostly encountered five minutes, sometimes just one. Uh, I, 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 it doesn't matter. I, I've I've discovered that uh, I can get um, troused by bots um, at any time. So, uh, <laughs> but making subscribers for twenty minutes, it's it, it it's helped. I know that's not very helpful if you jump to a stream. You've got to hang around for twenty minutes before you. But then also you got to you got to tolerate my, me. You got to put up with me for twenty minutes. So it's a it's a, it's a hard life. I'll tell you that. Mm. Um, I know. I've five minutes for a long time. Five minutes is like the 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 time frame for an edited video. So if you jump into a live stream and you're you're hanging around for like just five minutes, <sighs> I suppose it's like, oh, but I want to say something. I want to say something. Well, mm. I want you to. I want you to be. I want you to be on edge. I want you to say something. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's how to. Dungeons, Dungeons, and Donuts, and Donuts, spelt correctly. Yeah, yeah, spelt correctly. Because I, I apparently did not get that right. Donuts. Um, uh, no, I, I look, I, I tell you, it, it was, I would get um, absolutely troused by um, sex bots uh, on, in live streams. So uh, at the end, I just, I, got, I just got too frustrated with the whole thing. And I set it to the hardest setting, but then of course all of my comment section, I've got it at the uh, the, the most strict setting as well, just because uh, and as the community grows, um, a lot of really nice people, but a lot of crazy people out there too. So yeah, and uh, I just I don't have time to deal with people's nonsense. Do you know what I mean? Um, and there are some people who are 
bit too bit too nasty um mm. and clearly have not read the uh the youtube guidelines <laughs> they've got no it idea how to, be a, how to be a decent human being but what's it the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. so how to run an rpg with one document yeah so that's that's the thing it's like um i actually i throw it out to the game master round table and i said how about you guys try to make an rpg that's about one to ten pages long i'd prefer them to go for one page long but if they, it takes two pages, that's so be it. Um, and how not to get sued. Yes, that's always important too. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah, everyone's going to have to be lawyers, get lawyered up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I never liked the term um, dungeon DM. Um, always liked Game Master. Well, Game Master is our... As our you know, I, I will refer to Dungeon Master only in the attempt to take the, um, the piss out of it, frankly. Sorry, it's probably going to be that way. Mm. Um, I've seen some new um, creators uh, making content for HeroQuest. Wonder if there's a, a way to write some advanced house rules. They are probably already out there. Um, m more than likely. Uh, HeroQuest is, I mean, they republished HeroQuest. Do you remember playing HeroQuest, baby? I do. We played it with, like, the entire family used to play Hero Quest together. That's what you got us into before um, Space Crusade, and that, that was my mm -hmm. journey into the Space Marines. Man, it's going, it's going from green to blue now. Purpley. Purpley. Yeah, it's a magical, um, it's a magical monster. That was your intention, or are you, are you just sticking paint on? I'm just sticking paint on. Is they are the eyeballs done? Yeah, yeah. They are, and yeah. the and the magic blasty bits are done. Yeah, yeah, he's all done. And and, and oh, I could probably do a little bit, I suppose, on on, on the red one. <clears throat> yeah, I can do I can do a little I can do a little more touch on the red one. But uh, I thought I thought a little bit of purple and and, and just random colours. Because mm -hmm. he's magical. <laughs> and he's dead. And he's dead. He's yeah. dead and magical. A magically dead basketball eye. Yeah, his um his gangrene skin has got gangrene. It does. <laughs> it's a different colour. It's a different colour. Yeah, it's not gang green, it's gang purple. Gang purple? Yellow. Oh, we're going yellow now. Oh, oh. mate, that is a, that's a fluorescent yellow, dude. <laughs> Stop laughing. No, no, I'm not going to make him fluorescent yellow. It's a fluorescent yellow. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. What no, is right, going to happen? It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's, it's got a purpose. Uh, I, I'm not going to go as silly as you think. Okay, all right. Um, so for those of you who are wondering, um, uh, I should have called this the uh, Monty Python eyeball monster zombie miniature painting with, with David Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know, look at uh, my new uh, Dragonlance book with uh, Disgust. Mm, yeah, but the Dragonlance book, uh, are you talking about the 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 one made by uh, um, Dungeons and Donuts, eh? Hmm. Yeah, so... Um, can I just say, Mum, that I, I feel like I can use the Dungeons and Donuts reference forever now. <laughs> and someone is going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Not only that, I don't feel bad about saying it because it is also um, throwing shade. Yeah. Throwing shade uh, and taking the piss. Something that I'm very good at, um, apparently. Um, I try to be subtle. I'm not that subtle right now, though. There you go. And so this is done. So where did and that? And that's oh, that's what that fluorescent yellow was all about on yeah, the yeah. Uh, on the on the yellow uh, red blasty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. So I guess what we should do is like, do you want to tell people a little bit about what you do on your channel? Do um nothing at the moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to start doing some stuff. I've got a lot of videos to upload, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, um, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to start doing drawing as well as miniatures painting. But um, I do, I paint any sort of miniatures that I like. So it's, it doesn't have a, it's not um, Dungeons and Donuts or <laughs> <laughs> Warhammer or whatever. It's sort of everything. Um, yeah. If I find a, if I someone find someone making cool miniatures online, which I'm always searching for, um, I'll I'll get them and I'll paint them. Yeah. So, uh, what monsters fall under Wizards of the Coast copyright? Well, actually, that's very complicated. I, I think if people start to look very carefully at what monsters are actually owned by Wizards of the Coast's IP as under copyright, 
they will be quite surprised. My understanding is the um, the creme brulee, <laughs> the land shark, mm -hmm. the creme brulee, uh, bullet, bullet, uh, that thing, uh, which of uh, course um, I'm going to say is a creme brulee. Uh, that is actually probably still owned by Tim Cask, who originally made it, because I don't believe he handed the the um, the IP copyright to Wizards of the Coast. Mm. Uh, they never signed it over. Uh, so he still probably has the copyright for it, not Wizards of the Coast. So as people start to go into you know detail. Uh, something like Dragon, you can't copyright Dragon. Uh, you might have different coloured dragons, but that's not going to make any difference because anybody can have a different coloured dragon. Yeah. And and so yeah, so that that does yeah. Um, and then of course things like um, elves, dwarves, zombies. Generic stuff. They're very, they're all very generic. Like they're they're all they all fall under public domain stuff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, something like Python, um, you might have a bit of trouble with Monty Python, yeah. uh, but Python's not going to be an issue. Um, uh, Even Cyclops and things like that, yes. that's, that's a generic... Um, well, that's Greek. That's a Greek. That's, mythology, that's Greek, mythology. right? So yeah, yeah, Cyclops has been around a long, long time, yeah. long time. Um, it's just, you know, I guess things like um, beach balls with eyes are, are definitely... Fears with... Owls attached to them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a bear com combined with an owl is, is going to be probably under copyright. I'm not entirely sure. I know probably the person who knows more about this is AJ Pickett, so you probably want to ask him more. Mm. Uh, w well, actually, you can... Oh, well, he, would he know um, uh, the details of which monsters have actually been bought by Wizards of the Coast? Uh, he, he, would know, he would know some of it because he has done had to do a lot of research on all those monsters. Yeah, yeah. So he'd probably know the ins and outs for what monsters they actually have as IP and which is not. Mm. Um, and because uh, he's done so many lore videos. So to give you an idea, um, I now have changed the Dungeon Master Roundtable to Game Master Roundtable. So at the end of this month, I'm actually going to be sitting down and doing something with um, so the Game Master Roundtable. We're going to do it with me. Um, how to RPG is going to be part of that panel. We're going to do it with Wally DM. We're going to do it with Dungeon Dad, um, Joe Sire, Dungeon Dad, Dad, that channel. We're going to do it with AJ Pickett and Esper the Bard. So there's five of us, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about four um, creatures that fall under public domain, and mm -hmm. we, and then like how would you use them in an adventure that you were trying to run? Yeah, and, and not necessarily for um, Dungeons and Donuts, but but obviously for you know any kind of um, role playing game. So yeah, so we will pull that apart, and I'm not sure maybe the the IP discussion will crop up. Which of course none of them that we have selected are IP stuff. Dungeons and Donuts is really cool. I do. I, I feel like Dungeons and Donuts. It's my new favourite name. Yeah. Oh my god! It's it's just flows off the yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah, just flows. Perfectly. Donut. Yeah. Dungeons and Donuts. donuts. Yeah, yeah. You could even have like some fat troll eating a donut. Dungeons. That's the main. Yeah. <laughs> Dungeons and Dodos. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it just it just comes off so good. Even, uh, yeah, goblins, trolls, orcs, um, can't, it wouldn't be copyright, no. No, you can't, you can't, you can't do goblins, it's been around way too long. Goblins fall under um, fairy creatures. Trolls have been around forever. Um, the Etten, for example, the Etten is, uh, is simply just a troll with two heads, uh, uh, ultimately. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if the, the word S in itself is um, IP for Dungeons and Donuts. Yeah, yeah, so they can just change the whole list to iTyrants. And that's what a lot of um, people that make third-party miniatures and stuff do. They come up with a new name mm -hmm. um, along the lines of it um, and call it that so they don't get, don't yeah. get in trouble for it. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. All right. So would you, uh, would you like to tell uh, people uh, where they can find you? I'll put the link to your channel in there again, and, and we'll get out of here before we melt. Yeah, YouTube and um, Instagram. Um, Dave's Money FX on uh, Instagram, and we're about to pop a link in, into the uh, chat now for my channel. And I'll be adding some videos probably today because I've got to get, I've got to get stuff up there actually. No. So um, yeah, have a look and see if all of all of my stuff is for sale now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Huh? Uh, he's he's wow. A lot of people have actually watched Monty Python. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a heap of people. Yeah, eh? yeah. yeah which is great. Oh, I love that. Uh, hang on, no. 
Eh, bingo. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Okay. Mm, yeah. Alright, uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to walk around David uh, yep. in this crowded little place. Yep. Um, so yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be doing... Olofs. Olofs. So that's a snow golem, isn't it? Now a golem, for example, golem is not something you can have as an IP. So y you could have any kind of, any kind of thing you like as a golem, and it's, it's not um, IP attachable. Do you know what I mean? Like, <gasps> Guess what? What's that? Um, I answered the Monty Python poll when I first got here, but I am still not sure what MP has to do with uh, with this stream. It has absolutely nothing. nothing to do with it, it has at all. absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. I've, I, I, I'll come up with a new question tomorrow for um, you know the snow golem. It do probably I have a hill giant um, video. Um, just uh, do you have a hill giant? Do I have a do I have a hill giant video? Do you have a hill giant? No, no. I, I have hill giants, yes. I have miniatures for it, but I don't have, no. No, I don't have a video for it as such. So do you reckon I should paint a hill giant then? Well, no, because we haven't got a hill giant. You just said you got one. But it's already painted. Oh. Yeah, let's paint the things that aren't painted. Right. Yeah. I like painting things that Fred's already painted. Oh, well, that, well okay, if you're, I'm sure you do. <laughs> let's, let's deal with the pile of shame first, though. Right, right. The pile it's, of shame. Yeah, to be honest, it's Fred's pile of shame. That it is my pile. Him. I have a huge pile of shame, mate. I've got my own pile of shame to paint too, you know. I know, I know you do. Yeah. You know, paint that shame pile of shame, baby. Paint that pile of shame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's get us out of here. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we'll probably... Snowman. Snowman. Um, we'll I, do some snowmen. Yeah. Um, I will try to make sure that the thumbnail is appropriate um, in every way and um, doesn't mock or um, uh, affect anybody else's IP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not going to mock at all. No, it's not going to do anything like that. Uh, so, but yeah, and uh, David will be painting that sort of thing. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll make my 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 wife watch it. <laughs> fair, fair enough. So um, I just want to say thank you to all of my patrons. I want to say thank you for everybody who's been part of the live stream. It's really important. Patreon is now a big deal. Um, it really is um, highly important. Uh, people contributing to that sort of thing. I didn't realize just how important it was until this started to happen. And uh, I want to thank everybody who's been part of the live stream, commenting, come and watch. Um, putting up with our nonsense. Um, we, I don't know that we were that funny today. You know, I tried. I tried hard. Yeah. It didn't, didn't come That's quite off. That's the problem, though, trying. Try, you try too hard and it doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't it work. Doesn't, you just yeah. got to just, just roll with it. It's either going to work or it's gonna not going to work. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's it. It's like very hit and miss. Yeah, very yeah. hit and miss. Um, so thank you for everybody who's been watching the replays of everything and my edited videos and putting up with my shorts. Kind of got to do them, otherwise YouTube hates me to, um, a lot. And uh, what, 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 what what do you got here? What's this? Um, I just tried to... So hang on, Tiefling, I'm guessing is copyright. Probably yes, uh, because Hero Forge calls them something else. Yeah, that'd be that'd probably be right. Um, I just tried to cancel my D&D Beyond subscription, and it said an error has occurred. Try again later. Holy Toledo! Really, Joe? Are you kidding me? So they're trying to stop people from unsubscribing by sending out an error. Wow, that's just <clears throat> flipping nasty and desperate. I, we were almost finished here. I can't believe it. I'm not going to say anything more. But <laughs> but, but Joe, <laughs> all, all I can say is um, try again later. And maybe yeah. maybe you should um, screenshot that little baby and stick that yep. stick that up on social Especially media. Especially if it does it again. Yeah, if, so, it do, if it does it again and it's not just like an, a, a legitimate um, error. error I'd, I'd maybe stick that up on social media. This is worse than Games Workshop, I swear. It's, uh, it's really bad. It's not good. It is not good. Okay. All right, D&D &D Beyond, you... Uh, you um, they really muffed it. Yeah, yeah. They made a big mistake. You're dumb and dumber. It's uh, It's gone down that way. So, yeah. Anyway, don't worry about it. Tomorrow, we're going to do our very best to, to go... To be funny. To be funny. We, we, we actually... We honestly... We honestly... Uh, we were talking about this, weren't we? Snow Golem... And Mr. Bean works yeah. perfect. They, they totally relate to each other. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. totally relate to each other. Yeah. So I want to thank David for showing up and um, putting up with me and painting the miniature. No problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, cool. So wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. I'm not telling you to be nice to Dungeons and Donuts at all, Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's up to you. You do that. That's all cool. That's fine. That's fine. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.
too little. <laughs> Yep, go for it. Type it in. Sorry, sorry, Rubik. I gotta go. 